Hi guys, so today we're going to be making a fun Barbie hybrid as you can see. We have the Made to Move Dancer Doll, which is our first double jointed curvy Barbie. And she comes with a boombox with a little decal of a smartphone in there. She comes with these stretchy leggings made to look like jeans also known as jeggings and then she's got this top with a 59 on it we all know what the 59 stands for and she's got one pink hair i think the hair is the same as they did for the michelle doll from ever after high the back of her box tells you a little bit more about her and then i got this fashionista which matches in skin tone she comes with a basic denim dress which i'm not over the moon about because of the ruffles and you guys know i'm not huge into ruffles she has pink hair as well but it's just just on the top and she has shaved sides with brown flocking but i think it's cool that she has duotone hair she has huge earrings and she has these awesome shoes that we're about to look at and um, let's take them out so here we have a regular made to move doll the curvy made to move doll and a regular curvy doll so you guys can look at them side by side and you can see the two curvies are the same height pretty much same proportions and She's a little bit shorter than the regular made to move and slightly bigger feet, so that's fun. And then here are their outfits. It's one piece denim-ish dress with her really, really cool glittery shoes. They are glittery and a little iridescent. I thought they were more iridescent than glittery, but it's actually mostly just glitter. And if you were a Monster High collector, these might be reminiscent of Abby Abominable's shoes. Here is the Kirby doll's outfit. It's actually two pieces for her top, her jeggings, and her sneakers. Very cool. So now we're going to do the head switcheroo. So here she is all finished. Since I said I didn't really like ruffles, I switched her to this light blue velvet dress from that fashion pack that I showed in a previous video. I am kind of surprised that she does not match the curvy body as well as the curvy head matches her body. It's not so horrible that I can't live with it. Here's a side view of her and a back view of her hair. It's just up in a little messy bun thing. Her joints are a little bit stiffer than the other made to move dolls, but it's okay because it kind of helps with her stability. The other thing is that her knee joints, as you can see, are very harsh, so I will also be softening them up in Photoshop. And here are her shoes. You can see her ankle joints because they are see-through shoes. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something from this video and answered some of your questions about the curvy body. Thank you. Bye!